Hey YouTube, what is going on guys? It's gonna be a solo react. I'm reacting to my boy Diaz, his kill record on the new map. And overall, I kinda wanna have this debate on who is the best Warzone player, what makes the best Warzone player just in general. Less than 2,000 subscribers, man. So if you are brand new, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's check him out. Let's check out the boy D. Round one, fight. So if you don't know, D recently just went to a land event and played Apex and Diaz is one of those players who's just naturally gifted at every single, um, every single thing he touches. Kind of like how like a Tifu is, or just like there's just certain people who are just straight up gamers, and he's uh, he's definitely one of them, man. So he just does it so effortlessly, man. I think D is probably the best Warzone player in having great movement and great aim at the same time. Because I mean, some players can be very accurate while while with having really good movement, but he can do both, but on an elite level. Uh, it's just and also one thing about d is that there was a time period where i wanted to get better at warzone and i would 1v1 d like like four like i did it for like five six days straight and he's just so lightning quick it's actually ridiculous man and i feel like it did help me get better too all right he's got this what is this the is that the marco yeah it is he plays so fast bro he has a default Marco. Dude's not even trying. It's too money. Uh, dude, he, I mean, this guy, he's just making this gun look crazy. The thing with him is you, you can't really tell how fast he's moving on, on from his POV. But if you look at his, if you, if you watch from any perspective, Oh my gosh, what I'm talking about, bro. Like, what? Pro. He's in the Twix. So, what makes someone the best Warzone player? So, there's a lot, there's a couple different things you want to go off of. Obviously, I think it's definitely the aim and also the consistency. You know what I'm saying? D has such a high KD that it's almost like he's just so consistent. Even when he's having a bad game, it's a great game for everybody else, right? He doesn't really troll too much. I mean, he's just always just always just excellent so that's that's how you really define someone who is um who's great at warzone and also someone who's who's great in all metas right metas change every every time you know some players are better with meta are better players with certain metas any gun d touches he's just he's just frying in then obviously like you can have like prs and stuff like that prs are a little bit different because it all varies on the lobby and who you're playing with and different things like that. Mm. A rampage? I think it is. But also you could define, you know what I'm saying, like Warzone as far as competitively on winning tournaments and stuff like that, but he's up there, man. Plus his age, man, he's 19. Like, the fuck you say to me, you little He's probably barely at the cusp of his prime. Probably gonna get better, especially with Warzone 2 coming out and being a whole new game. I'm excited to see where he really takes it at. Nice, good plays. He has 20 with 20. This is ridiculous. He might actually get 30. And also, the one thing that I think separates D from a lot of other players is he's dropped 20 plus kills in pro only lobbies. There hasn't been like any really other players who've done that. Rarely any, if, if I can remember. This motherfucker don't miss. Oh man. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. Place. 23 with 18 left. I mean, he's on a burner. There's obviously other players you can definitely mention. You have Aiden, of course. Um, Huskers, of course. But like I said, you really know who's a great player when they're fighting against other good players. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can look crazy against bots, but D has dropped multiple 20s, man. So. <laughs> and I love one of my favorite things about Warzone is how like different play styles like everybody's kind of movement and kind of feel for the game looks totally different like Aiden's play style looks completely different than than Huskers Biffle's play style looks different than any other top player like Joe O's you know what I mean so all right 27 we're about to get 40 can't team wipe there's still seven teams bro mm. Mm. 
He's so smart. You know he's gonna reach out because he got that stun. No, he full killed. Fuck. Yeah, you, you go chow that. You because if he hits it, he hits it. Oh, baby. There we go. Thirty-two. It's about it, it's about the disable too. Shots. Mm, he could wipe this team. Mm. He, no, he didn't wipe him. Wow, that's fire. Bro, 35? This might be the most I've seen. Like, from a. I've seen someone drop 40. Nice. Gotta be careful here. He doesn't have ammo. So smart and so fast. Thirty-eight, bro. What? Oh, fucking ballistic. They're both up there. Nice. Nice. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. 41. That might be the most. Yeah, this is definitely the... No, no. D, 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 D. Oh. Nice. A 1v3 right now. Does he does he clutch this to win? No way he gets 45. Plays 40. Oh my god. Read him and weep, boys. Read him and weep. I gotta drop a like for this gameplay. This is ridiculous. He's like far left. Can't look. You hear something to your left? I thought I heard something. Yeah. There you go. Let's go, D. Bro, drop 45 oh with 17k oh damage. Oh my god, that was a struggle. That, that's the best gameplay I've seen on that map. The first thing that comes to my mind when mentioning the Baca brothers is probably shoving this mic above me, literally so far in my mouth and just gagging all over it. Oh my God. Dude, that is, that's, wait, that's beautiful.